let's start with the offense. New offensive coordinator, kind of a big deal. Ricky Ronnie takes over for Joe Moorhead. Um, you know, they have some proven commodities on offense, even though they lost a, a lot of skilled players. They're pretty set along the offensive line. They're obviously set at quarterback. They have a couple wideouts they really like. So what do you want to see maybe Saturday from the Penn State offense? What should the fan base kind of be on the lookout for? Yeah, my focus is, uh, well, you know, a couple of them, but the running back position is one I'm interested in because Miles Sanders, it's great. We know what he's capable of. We didn't always see it, I think. So, and I, look, I don't think he's going to get a lot of carries, but I don't need to see much from him. I mm -hmm. want to see what's behind him because, Bob, yeah. I know Ricky Slade's coming in June, and he's obviously expected to do big things as a high four-star, five-star guy. Uh, but, you know, Jeremy Brown, Mark Allen, some of these guys are still on campus. Penn State, I think, is going to need a little bit from them this year, and we just haven't seen a ton from those guys. Jonathan mm -hmm. Thomas in that conversation, too. So I'll be curious to see what they do. In the blue-white game, it's a grain of salt kind of game, but I think we might get a little indication of whether those guys are able to take the next step or if it's kind of just going to fall yeah. completely on Ricky uh, Slade's plate. That's where it comes down to Jaylon Johnson, the new running backs coach, to really figure out what he has and put those guys through their paces because at some point they're going to need someone besides Miles Sanders to carry the load. Yeah, J1 Siders yes. um, from Florida. Yep. He's going to help with recruiting, but he's also got his work cut out for him uh, at the running backs. Because for me, the thing I'm going to look forward to, and hopefully he'll play, is Sean Clifford. I want to see him throw the ball. We're not, I don't know if we're even going to see Trace McSorley. He might just hand the ball off once, and that'll be it. Right. Tommy Stevens is hurt. So really, this should be kind of, for the fan base, their chance to get a really good look at Sean Clifford, who is a pretty – Highly touted prospect, yeah. kind of had to overcome a little shoulder surgery, was red-shirted last year. Uh, I have every reason to think that if he is healthy, um, we'll, see a, we'll get an extended look at, at him throwing the ball, running the offense. At the start of camp, James Franklin talked about it's important to develop a number three quarterback. I think one of the reasons it is important is they have to feel good because of what they might want to do with Tommy Stevens, mm -hmm. which brings me to one question for you about the offense, and that is, you know, we get up to these media availabilities, and we see a lot of tight ends not working. Yeah. Uh, we see, we've seen a lot of Danny Dalton. We have not seen a lot of any other tight end for whatever reason. And my question for you is, with Tommy Stevens missing basically all his spring with that lower foot ankle injury, I believe it's his right foot, mm -hmm. do you think that's hampered the development of the Penn State offense, especially with regard to a big receiver who might be a tight end. Yeah. Tommy Stevens isn't a tight end, but mm -hmm. he's almost as big as a tight end. Has that kind of hampered their ability to maybe throw the ball and kind of, you know, just kind of install maybe Ricky Ronnie's version of the Penn State offense? Yeah, I think it's certainly possible. I think that one of the things we've sensed a fair number of times going up there is just frustration with the offense. It seems like there's a lot of little things. Yeah. That, and when you lose the, the production and the veteran experience of uh, Deshaun Hamilton, Mike Kosicki, Saquon Bar, I mean, let's be, you know, Saeed Black to some extent. I mean, Penn State's losing a lot of veteran yeah. guys. So the, the little stuff that, that kills you come game day um, will need to be cleaned up, will need to be addressed. But, yeah, I think there's probably a little bit of that. Because if you think Steven stayed because he was, you know, more or less guaranteed a bigger part of the offense or at least a more uh, consistent mm -hmm. role game in and game out, he got installed at some point. And while it's sim I'm sure it's similar to what, uh, you know, Joe Moorhead did, Ricky yeah. Ronnie will have a similar idea and a similar track, you still got to get out there and do it. I mean, it camps a long uh, time. You obviously have plenty of opportunity yeah. to install that stuff. But, yeah, I think that's probably fair, especially because, yeah, tight end is – about as big a mystery as you can get at this point. The question is, is Danny Dalton getting all these snaps because there's nobody else or because he's risen to the top? Yeah, I think we caught a glimpse of Ronnie's offense in the Fiesta Bowl yeah. when Tommy was healthy. They moved him around a lot. He was on the field a lot. Mm -hmm. I think you can you, you can line him up outside. You can line him up in the backfield next to, say, Miles and Trace in the backfield. You could see that formation. And I think they will look to get him the ball. I, I would expect the one the biggest change will be uh, in the red zone. I think he's going to be more of a factor, I think, for Penn State in the red zone. I think he can really cause problems and confusion for defenses and defensive coordinators. And I think that they have that plan in place, and yeah. I think they know that Tommy can execute that plan. It will be a big August, I think, for Tommy and the offense mm -hmm. and the tight end group. Right. Because I just don't know how much you can count on a player like Danny Dalton to play. I mean, Mike Jasicki, when he was on the field, he played – 90% of the snaps. Right. I just I don't think that's going to be the case anymore with the tight end position uh, moving forward. So 